So far, the fixture design has continued with the fixture in its closed position. But we still have to add a configuration of the fixture in its open position to make sure there are not any clearance issues or potential interferences. You can see the spring plate going up to the top of its travel with, when the fixture comes to its open position. In this case, what we want to check for is that the pusher fingers are not engaged and that the pogo pins in their extended positions do not extend above the spring plate. We'll also check to make sure that the MTM modules on the underside of the mount plate and the test point carrier board all fit nicely inside the fixture overall. Since all of our clearances have checked out, now we can move on from this portion over to the test point carrier board design itself. We're going to use the test point locations themselves and map those down onto the PCB of the test point carrier board in our next section.